Dr. Charles, of concern to some people is the whole issue of testing, um, um, the availability of testing and, you know, um, where can they get tested, uh, as well as the different type of tests that um, we offer. So let's look at it in this format first. Um, um, where can persons go and get tested now? So persons can get tested at the local health center medical station. Now we do two types of testing, right? We do the antigen testing where the individuals would get the results generally within 15 minutes. And we also do PCR testing, which is done at our lab. So they may collect the sample at your health center or medical station, but that sample has to be sent to general hospital and it has to be processed uh, in a PCR machine. And the results generally take uh, between anyway between 24 hours up to three days because the PCR, it's a, it's a long and, and, and intensive um, um, process. So these are the two types of, types of tests. Now the testing that we do in the community um, to identify individuals who are infected and you know for persons to know their status and so on, that testing is done at no cost. Now of course there are also individuals who are seeking testing for travel um, purposes and so on. That test is is paid for, right? And the cost of the PCR test at the government lab is $135 EC and the cost of an antigen test is $50 EC, right? That is for those individuals who are doing the test and they need to have that official result for travel. But the other testing that we do in the community, because someone has symptoms or someone, you know, they were exposed, so they would like to know their, their status, so, you know, so that they can protect their family and that is 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 offered at no cost uh, in our network of health facilities um, uh, in our communities. So I am feeling uh, uh, um, a bit sick. My temperature is up. I can go to the health center and speak to the nurse, request that I get tested, and um, um, nurse will then carry out a test on me. Is that the same as with the nasal swab or is it different? Right. So the swabbing is how we collect the sample. Right. All right. The swabbing is not the test. The swabbing is how we collect the swamp, the sample. All right. And that is done with a, a small and narrow br uh, brush. Mm -hmm. All right. That is inserted in the, in the nose, whether it's for antigen or for PCR. This is how we collect the sample, all right? The testing itself is carried out either on the testing cassettes for the antigen test or in the lab where the PCR um, test is, is done. Right. Now, um, what does the antigen test really detect? Right, so the antigen test detects proteins that form part of the structure of the virus, right? right? So that's what that's what the antigen test does. So if the virus is present, all right, and at insufficient quantities or, all right, insufficient quantities or at a certain level, the test is able to detect the proteins of the virus. So if the virus is not there, the proteins of the virus will not be there. Right. If the virus is there, the proteins are there, the test detects it. The PCR test detects the genetic material, the, the RNA right. of the virus. All right, which is different to the proteins. Mm -hmm. All right, so the PCR detects the RNA, which is the genetic material of the virus. All right, and that is the that is the the difference between the two.